clock is running out for SEPTA and the Transit Workers Union to reach an agreement before a midnight deadline. That's on Halloween. The union says the shooting death of a bus driver while on duty yesterday is proof that their safety concerns are not being addressed. Jasmine Payute is live on the Sky Deck to show us how the incident is now impacting those negotiations. Jasmine. Howard, Janelle, good morning. We know both sides are at the Wyndham Philadelphia Historic District Hotel. We know that there's no updates as of yet, but the Transport Workers Union says they will go on strike if no agreement is met by the time their contract expires. So take a look at this. Here's what we know and here's the latest. With the death of driver Bernard Gribben, members say more than ever, more needs to be done to protect them. Gribben was shot yesterday just after 10 in the morning at Abbotsford and Germantown Avenues. He was on his route driving the Route 23 bus when police say a passenger got up, shot him, got off, got back on the bus, and shot him again. Gribben was shot at least six times. Police took a woman matching the description of the suspected shooter into custody at a gas station shortly afterwards. The Transport Workers Union says SEPTA needs to improve safety, not just for operators, but for passengers as well. You know, our life is a life. We got to go home to our family. And it's unfortunate that we lose one of our co -op, our, our workers to violence that we've been talking about. You know, they, the guy got killed today. He didn't have no protection. He ain't stand a chance at all. You know, so it's, it's safety is a big point. That's what we really want. The Transport Workers Union has authorized a strike that would go into effect Tuesday at midnight. That could leave thousands in the city without a ride. We reached out to SEPTA. They say they declined to comment as they deal with Gribben's death. Janelle, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Certainly a tough, tough week for that organization. Jasmine, thank you so much for that.